Grana Weep Mini Bong, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today on my channel, we're going to be taking a look at something I didn't mean to buy. This is the LD. CX train transformer. I'm not exactly sure even what the name of this one is. Uh, the art of the super train from Ling Dong in 2020. Now, I'll openly admit, I did not mean to buy this. I actually thought I was buying the new Black Mamba set. But <laughs> let's have a look at this and see what we got. So, as we always do on this channel, let's take a look at the packaging. And it came in this. Yeah, came in this, and oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Now what's really odd is it did come with some destructions, but the, the, the destructions were were ripped off, literally just ripped off the, the box. <laughs> so th there was a box, there is a box, and we can see that we have destructions here uh, of a box. That it didn't send. <laughs> you, you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. So now let's look at the main event himself. Obviously inspired by Raiden or part of Raiden. This is a Japanese, I think it's a Japanese bullet train. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, it has wheels on the bottom. So the wheels aren't the wheels that are on the figure. Um, in this mode, it doesn't actually look too bad. Uh, it's it's a weird one. You can see exactly how it's going to transform and, and what needs to happen. But it's a train. Uh, it hasn't got the connector pieces on the back like some of the other ones in this line. And I know that because I accidentally bought two. So there will be a, a part two to this one. Uh, and then the front has some kind of painted on details. Minimal molded detail in which I guess you can be okay with because it's a train But the wheels are molded in there and the windows are Molded in there. You can see they are they are kind of molded in there uh, You can't see them very well, but they are molded in there all in all It's not a bad train trains are trains I guess and um, the plastic feels in this mode not too bad uh, But I don't think I can say the same when it gets into some of its other modes now time for the quick comparison and we'll compare it with some earth rise figures so earth rise prime not brought this bloke out for a while uh, you can see that prime is much bigger so he's not a big train by any stretch of the imagination uh, and then also bringing out little cliffy little cliffy jumper uh, then you can see how he compares there Man, uh, maybe they compare not too badly I guess, but yeah, probably Cliff Jumper should be a bit smaller. So if you do fancy picking up this dude, he's in a, a world of his own. You'd probably need to go down to core class or maybe even micro, micro, micro class to be able to make this dude fit in. Transformation time. This is where I have to bust out the most incredible destructions I've ever seen in my life. Again, make sure I get every single segment of this down to a T. So the first thing that we are going to do here is we're going to just separate the section at the top and it goes pop and it goes pop pop and then the head there we go the head's on a little spring so the head's just popped up straight away saves us any bother trying to do it ourselves right then we can pop this out and then fold and fold this bit i do like these little lasers hey little lasers here are pretty cool then we can bring it up Bring this section down, around, and flip it through. And then finally we bring down, fold it up, fold it out, bring out the little tootsies a little more. Separate, <laughs> he's got some wide hips, this dude. And there we have Train Dude. No idea what his name is at all because it is written in the uh, a language that I cannot read. So the 
we will call this dude Green Train Dude. Uh, he has very interesting looking cannons here on the top. I actually don't mind the head sculpt. Uh, it looks more Power Rangers to me than uh, Transformers a little bit. Uh, but I, I, I like the look of him. I could imagine if this was made by a, a more Masterpiece style uh, or even a slightly better uh, third party or KO company that this could actually be an interesting looking figure which is probably why I bought him in the first place um, the head sculpt is very Power Rangers -esque, but does have some translucent horns here at the top uh, the yellow, the red eyes grey faceplate here and then the yellow down the bottom actually isn't bad I quite like the head sculpt I like the blown out 80 shoulder pads look that we have here as well and the guns that stick out arms are molded detailing slightly and some green here greys really you can see he's a train you know I guess with train transformers it's very difficult to hide that transformation uh, they wanted you to think that the cockpit went down into the chest, but this is just a fake one because we know we can see that it, it goes out. So the transformation doesn't make too much sense. The back of his head is very, very, very translucent. Uh, and then the hips are slightly a bit more molded detailing wheels. And then the bottom of the feet are also quite good on the old molded detailing. Uh, then we have the articulation and the articulation is zero in the head, but it does go up and down so that, that that's your articulation but dang da dang da dang da dang so we can duck shoot me bro no okay so we can do that then the arms we can get a full 360 here at the arms but i will say that as i'm doing this it feels like it's gonna come off it feels like the arm just says i want to pop off but the ratchets are quite strong maybe that's what's supporting it the plastic feels okay in some bits like this bit feels okay but these bits feel a little bit cheaper uh it overall it doesn't feel that bad it's just in parts it feels a little bit bad uh, i don't know what's going on with my ratchets as well on this one it doesn't seem to both want to like sit in the same place one wants to be here and the other one wants to stay there so you can see i can never quite get the arms to align because the ratchet you have to just tweak this one a little back a little bit the guns will also articulate down and up uh, so that's not too bad arms up down side to side and a full 360 you can get here and some down some up and a full 360 here on his hand he has some little gun ports but he came with no guns so no accessories absolutely zip zero nothing at the waist and the legs he'll, he'll, he'll they'll go out to the side so he can kind of squat like this uh or they'll go up to give him a little bit more height but they won't swing back they won't swing forward and they don't even swing out to the side so your articulation is this weird up and down yeah that's a bit odd uh, and then you get some toe articulation here as well so yeah a complete failure really when it comes to to articulation uh but overall the look isn't bad but yeah complete a complete failure of a, a of a bot uh, he does have um ports on him where i guess he can hold guns that come from your transformers so he comes with no figures and he can just about hold a gun but his arm is just a little bit smaller than your uh, normal ports for your tfs or he will hold the side on on the magnus one so he can hold there but he, he won't take the 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 five mil so maybe that's a four mil port there i'm not sure but overall he can he can hold a magnus gun on the side if you want him to okay so now that we know that the articulation is an abject failure let's have a look at some of the comparisons that we can get uh here we go with the earthrise prime so we can see he's about the same height as an earthrise prime uh, and if we bring cliff jumper out as well you can see that he does fit in with them but you can just say see the quality the articulation the molding everything he just doesn't fit in and he is trash so final thoughts on this green train transforming thing it's 
trash i mean it's not for a collector if you're collecting tfs if you want to get something really cheap for uh your kids just to get them into it i guess but i can't speak to the quality of how much you trust this thing to stay together i guess for a you know for a, a five six year old i guess it's probably okay but by then they're probably going to want something that looks a little bit better than this already so do not pick this up like i did thinking it's a part of the black mamba it's definitely not black mamba was being sold by the same people i have now ordered them <laughs> again uh, i pushed the wrong button i'm not only gonna push the wrong button once but there will be a part two of this because oh yeah there's this dude and when this dude comes, this dude is a combiner. So part two <laughs> coming very soon of this with this dude. <laughs> Don't buy any of them. They're trash. <laughs>